There's a lot of guys out there doing video game reviews like the Angry Video Game Nerd and RMAG21. I love those guys to death. And I'm not necessarily trying to steal their thunder. What I am trying to do, however, is to share with you one particular game that forever darkened my childhood and probably contributed a great deal to making me the psychological mess that I am today. It's not the shittiest game in the world, although it is shittier than a Mormon prom. But what it is, is the most nipple-twisting, nut-aching, hair-pulling, ulcer-causing, butt-itching, frustrating motherfucker of a game you ever saw. And that game is The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Now, The Adventures of Bayou Billy is, as I said, a frustrating game. But what many people don't know is that it's also the hardest game ever made. Now, I know some people will come forward and tell you that, like, you know, the Gradius games or, you know, the Ghosts and Goblins, they're a real challenge. They don't know what they're talking about because I fucking guarantee you that nobody has beaten the adventures of Bayou Billy fairly. I mean, not without, like, some kind of emulator or a game genie or divine intervention. This game is fucking hard. So there it is. You'll see there's game A and game B. You don't know what those are. There's a jukebox mode. And the first ever instance, I think, of voice in the game. Listen. The Adventures of Bio B. <laughs> okay, and there's Mr. Big. I think his name is like Roland or something. Anyway, he's like, Billy, I got your girlfriend. I guarantee you. I'm going to take her back to my estate and make her my bitch until you come down to there and you're going to beat up all my henchmen. And I got helicopters. And Billy's like, oh, God. And it drakes her off in a truck, and then the game tells you very happily to, uh, you know, use the controller, which I would have never have guessed that. <laughs> so, there's Billy, and you'll notice that, uh, first thing right off, that this, uh, game is funky cool. It's got this soundtrack that gets stuck in your head for fucking years. I mean, why else would I buy this game again? It's totally pathetic. Look, oh, look at this guy. I actually had to hunt down this game because I had this song stuck in my head. So, you'll notice right away that, uh, Billy is a fucking pussy. Uh, he's got two attacks, uh, a punch and a kick. Oh my god, make it stop. It's the music, this is so funkadelic. <sighs> anyway, Billy's got two attacks, a punch and a kick. The punch being a short-range attack that doesn't hurt, and a kick, which is a slightly longer-range attack that doesn't hurt. Uh, he's got a drop kick, too. You'll, you'll end up using the drop kick a lot. Look at that, I just beat a turkey out of that guy. Evidently he was just eating KFC, saw me coming, and stuck the turkey leg in his back pocket, and I just beat it out of his anus. So, uh, another one of the most effective tactics is you'll see that Billy's kick always lands squarely in the guy's nuts, so there we just take turns kicking each other in the balls till one of us falls over. I think that's some kind of Eskimo thing. And then, evidently, he has these trained hawks that are coming out to get you. And now you go into my favorite part of the game. Well, not my favorite part, but, you know, a good part of the game. Uh, the water, where you get attacked by gators. Yeah, gators. You, you can actually fight alligators in this game. And the only way to fight them is, you know, you'd think maybe you'd kick them from the shore, or get a gun or a stick. Or, no, you can't do that. you got to get in the water, way, way deep in the water with the gators, and then you have to punch them. Now, you could actually bypass these gators, uh, but more on that. Um, now you'll see these three Bluto-looking idiots with... <laughs> they decided to attack you with boulders over their heads. And they they got me. That's embarrassing. So I decided to skip ahead a little bit, and now we find another part of the water where, uh, of course, there are more gators, and of course you can't skip these guys. And I just beat a knife out of one of the gators. Of course, it doesn't do you any good because you can't stab downward with the knife. Every time you use it, you just throw it. And for some reason, I seem to think that uh, the knife actually has a shot here, so I'm going to keep attacking them with the knife and not hit shit. Now, the only tactic is to stand there like a dope, in range of the alligator's bite, and punch them. And that always ends up getting me hurt at the same time I hurt them, and I just beat a turkey up the alligator's ass. That's good. Would you really eat that? I'm trying to find the turkey now because I'm so low on health. I'm going to eat swamp turkey I beat out of an alligator, and I couldn't find it, and I die. So, you know, Benny Hill time. This is my epic struggle with the two alligators, where I'm just standing there punching the crowd. I beat sticks and a bulletproof vest out of the alligator. 
Oh, Billy, you're such a badass. You just stand there punching, and this is actually the best tactic, is standing there holding your fist out and hoping the gator runs into it. Oh my god, come on, Billy. And the gators are just playing possum now, they're just floating around. Waiting for the moment to start- Oh, I got- oh, Jesus Christ. It's like fucking gators. The only way to beat up these gators reliably is to get the stick. And I don't have the stick, so I'm fucked. <sighs> Come on. Who punches out a gator? I think <sighs> Billy would have some kind of taser or something. I don't know. Oh, I got a stick. Oh, look at it. Swamp ninjas. Swamp shinobi on the right there. Oh, my God. I'm beating swamp ninjas to death with a stick. And they just jack me in the head. And <laughs> I'm gonna drop kick the swamp ninjas. Come on, you guys. What, what is Shinobi on the right doing there? He's just standing there, like, rooting the other guy out, and he beats me up. <laughs> now, I remember Bayou Billy being really big as a kid, and playing this game, I'll be damned if I can remember why. All I do remember is that A, it had a bitchin' soundtrack, and B, there was this huge marketing campaign behind it put up by Nintendo or Konami or whatever company made it, starring some kind of crocodile dundee Cajun motherfucker who was always all manic and wrestling alligators. Would you get your hands on Konami's new video game? Starring me, that Ray Jun Cajun. By you for the first time ever, Konami combines hand to hand combat. Driving, shooting, and of course, zapping. In one swamp, stomping adventure. And that is, once you get to the second level, you realize why it tells you to use the controller in the first stage if you picked Game A. And that's because in the second stage, you get to crack out Nintendo's most underused peripheral. I had to dust this out of a drawer somewhere. The Zapper. So, this is like the only game that ever featured the Zapper other than like Duck Hunt and Hogan's Alley. So I'm like, this was awesome as a kid. And it was, it was good, yeah. Yeah, I had to use the controller for the emulator, but if you had to use the zapper, I actually think you were worse off, because in the boss fight ahead, you'd have to pull the trigger so fast it would give you a couple tunnels, like a John Woo movie. So apparently Rook at the bad guy has this army of paramilitary operatives with bazookas. Oh, and an attack helicopter. So there it is, and right away you'll see that uh, there's no way to stop the chopper from shooting you. You can't stun it, nothing. So you, you just gotta pull the trigger as fast as you can and hope you win this war of attrition until the chopper's health goes away. And if you're slow at all, it's just gonna waste you. Hey, victory theme. And that being done, you think we're finally gonna move on. You know. We're gonna get out of here, and there's Mr. Big. He's like, oh, I see you beat up my atta attack helicopter. Well, I got hundreds more. Uh-huh. I tied up your girlfriend. I'm gonna give it to the gimp. Mm-hmm. I guarantee she's gonna suffer. <laughs> ah, now, stage three. Finally, we're gonna get to Mr. Big's estate, or we're gonna go to the city, and we're gonna use the controller, and... Oh! <laughs> what the fuck, man? I'm back in the swamp? Can't we make any kind of progress whatsoever? I don't want to fight Cajuns and Gators anymore. And it's just really more of the same. You're just beating random objects out of people's asses. and You know, you, you can't ever fight anybody reliably if you don't have a weapon. Because if you're in somebody else, if, if you're in punching range, you're in somebody else's punching range. And so you, all you do is you just trade shots. And of course there's more Gators you just punch. Oh, and that hawk came out of nowhere. I like how Mr. Big has trained hawks that are just trying to seek out your eyes. Ugh. 